Today's video is sponsored by Raycon. In today's video, we're going to test how much water a Stretch Armstrong doll can hold. How large can we inflate him before he pops? For any of you out there who may be unfamiliar with a Stretch Armstrong doll, it is a very, very flexible rubber doll full of sort of a thick corn syrup that slows the return of the stretchy parts. So he returns to shape, but it takes him some time. Here's the basic idea. We've got a rubber Stretch Armstrong doll known for its ability to expand greatly without tearing or ripping. We're going to see if we can attach a hose to him and fill him up as much as possible before he bursts. We've done a few things with Stretch Armstrong on this channel. Uh, namely, we've skinned him and pinned it to a wall. We filled him with gallium and most recently, I inflated a Stretch Armstrong using an air pump. Mm -hmm. We poked a small hole in his chest, put the pump needle in there and just started running and it, it got surprisingly large. But what surprised me even more is that we never hit a point where the rubber burst or tore or anything. It just stretched so much that there was now a large hole and air was escaping, especially out of his neck. It stretched so much that it broke the seal around the neck and air was just rushing out faster than we were putting it in. But I wanted to do a follow-up, which is going to involve water and maybe we'll revisit air as well. So I got the idea from what happened last time before it stretched so much that the neck seal came off. So my idea this time is to remove the head and separate it at the neck seal uh, and then we'll attach that to a hose with a couple parts and a hose clamp. And I want to try this in two ways. One, I want to try it where it's full of the corn syrup stuff. Okay. And one, I want to try heating it up to make the corn syrup all liquid and drain it out and wash it so we have just an empty skin with no corn syrup and see if that makes any difference whatsoever. Here's some parts we're going to be using here. A hose adapter. This will attach to our hose. And then this is going to attach to a ball valve right here. Then the idea is that our Stretch Armstrong neck will go around our ball valve and then once he's full, if he hasn't ripped, we could even detach it from the hose <laughs> and have, this will be his head attached to his body. Uh, and we could even let the water out if we wanted to. That's gonna just, be amazing. Yeah, we've got a couple of hose clamps and some rubber sheets. This is to put underneath the hose clamp so it's not cutting into the rubber of his neck. Okay, I like it. What's step one for this uh, uh, I think, head replacement surgery? I think step one is actually to kind of just break his head off. It should disconnect from the plastic pieces inside if you pull hard enough. There oh, it is. Oh, wow. All right, so we broke the seal. Now we're just gonna cut his head off yep, right there. Yep. Right there. As much as we can give it. Yep. Wonderful. Gross. And there's our goo. And I am going to try and pull his plastic piece that the head attaches to. I'm going to try and pull that out entirely. My hands are covered in thick corn syrup and it's going Good. to make everything difficult. So yeah, hold our headless guy. Okay, got him. I'm actually going to hold him so that I can try and get the corn syrup to settle a little lower so we've got more room to work around the neck. I just am making a safety collar, probably about like that, to go around our hose clamp so it doesn't cut into the mm -hmm. rubber here. Good, 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 good. Yes, that's nicely around. You can see how much like we've got. It's going up on there quite a bit. So I'm going to start tightening this down, but then before it's actually tight, I'm going to fit our piece of rubber in there as a protection. Oh no! What happened? Uh, a little bit of it got caught. It's not cut through, but it's probably a weak point. Just something I'll have to be aware of. This is our weak point and our most likely spot for it to pop or leak. And that was just me being careless, I guess. But I think that's pretty well attached. Okay. So stretch Armstrong valve head. I think he's about ready to go. And we're gonna start blowing him up with water. Let's see how that goes. We've got our hose to our connector, to our valve, to our neck, into our stretch Armstrong. We're gonna add some water and he's filling fast. Little tiny bit of water leaking, but nothing severe. With the air, we got wow. a significant portion of the limbs did start to inflate after a while. So I'm hoping that'll happen here. It's already a great look. Like it's down to his knees about uh -huh. and getting close to his elbows. We have a spot where it looks like water is just escaping. So I wonder if we have like a pinhole right there. Water's just kind of bleeding out. So maybe from the original neck, maybe from something I did. I do think we have a tiny leak, but what's interesting is it's still filling. It's not ripping anywhere. It's just stretching more. Like you do when you're Stretch Armstrong. Yeah, you can't really see the corn syrup anymore. It's Yeah, it's just down in the bottom probably, slightly spread out. Maybe a little bit of it has dissolved into the water. That's a pretty good size Stretch Armstrong already. Yeah. I mean, that's like a decent size fat pillow. 
Okay, Callie has turned up the water, so it should be filling faster. It's hard to see once you're at this size. The change in terms of percent is not as much, but he's still growing. We're past his elbows now. So he's just got like forearms sticking out of his blob. We still haven't passed his knees, but we're like enveloping his knees. Oh, I think you actually can kind of see the goo, the goo down at the bottom. Did we stretch the goo? Okay, I see it. It's a fantastic shape. That is pretty great. SpongeBob shape. The shape of the actual legs is yeah. coming through. At it's this starting point too. to feel a little tense. That's oh yeah, wow, that is. Yeah. I mean, the goal is to get him to burst. I just don't know how much water that will take. Oh yeah. I didn't yeah. know that was the goal. Oh, that's the goal. We do still have like our spot that's just dripping water out, but like it hasn't changed. It's not going faster now. There's still just like one drip appears. You wipe it away, one drip appears. That hasn't increased. That's rather delightful. Whew, we are over two feet long. And growing. It's getting near to ankles at this point. Well past the knees, getting towards the wrists and ankles. So you know those sumo suits you can wear for like fake sumo wrestling? Uh -huh. And you just have your regular size feet and hands sticking out? That's he what looks he looks like, like that, now. Yeah. He's just got hands and feet sticking out the bottoms. Do you think you could pick that up? Uh, I think by sheer weight, this is more than I can lift okay, at this point. Okay, that's what I was wondering. No, I don't think I can. Oh no, okay, we're... Quite taut at this point. Not as much as it should be. I imagine that when they started making these, they are like, what's the stretchiest rubber we can get and toughest? I feel like we should be using this for more practical real world applications than a toy. There is nothing more important than this. Grace, we need you. <laughs> so Hi, good. Grace. Look at his hands. <laughs> his hands and feet, that's all it's uninflated. We have to have, oh my gosh. I'm 5'4 for reference. 5'3. Three. It's, it's not as tall as you, <laughs> but I think by mass, it's got you well oh beat. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's oh, a bigger oh. one. <laughs> there it goes. Grace. Gotcha. <laughs> Guys, we had Grace sitting next to it for a thumbnail. I'm so sorry. That hole was there the whole time, and it was just dripping, one single drip out. I don't know if you guys heard me, but I was like, the oh. hole. I saw you, you pointed like, it's leaking, so and, and I just watched it just go like, from a tiny stream, and it was just like, Whoa. that was amazing. I don't it think was, Grace thinks it's amazing. Well, I she loves it. Feels good it was it. like it's 10 hot. times larger than I thought it would get. I thought it'd wow. get to like, oh, a large balloon. No, it almost filled that entire tarp. Filling Stretch Armstrong with water, number two. This one, we've removed almost all of the corn syrup goo from inside, so he's pretty much just water at this point. You can see if he stretches, he just returns back to his shape almost immediately. I think this will be good. There he goes, and we are still gonna have a little air bubble in there, but like I said, it doesn't really matter. I think his limbs are filling up faster this time. Yeah, yeah, it's good. already kind of into the elbows. I think that not having the corn syrup makes it easier for it to get in there and stretch mm -hmm. and stuff. That's looking good. He's the size of a pillow, a good size pillow already, and I don't see any leaks. That doesn't mean there aren't any. There could be six on the back that we just can't tell, and it's single drops coming out. Also, last time somehow the limbs were getting stuck under him. This time they're not. Yeah, I've been adjusting him sooner mm -hmm. to, to try and make it stick less under there. And I There's water. There's, there's a water cushion. Yeah, I think the water underneath is helping it be just a little slidier. He's more of a Dorito shape this time, not the full square. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe there's differences in the rubber everywhere. Oh, we've got some uh, interesting, like the seam yeah. of the neck. So I bet the neck is going to be its failure point. Yeah. Okay, there is some sort of leak. Hab oh, the leak isn't that it's leaking. It's that that's not tight enough. Like around the hose uh, itself. Oh, oh, wait, there's, there's a, a leak. Hole. Oh, no. There is a hole near the neck. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. Spraying. No, no. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it's a large hole, but it's just on a reinforced spot. I'm gonna so turn up tearing. the hose. That's what I'm gonna, Woo! No I'm need. not. It didn't pop at the neck. <laughs> it popped at the butt. And that was a great, this got flooded, I think. <laughs> oh no. That was amazing, guys. So because that did not tear at the neck, that wasn't where it gave out, I do think that was about the maximum size. I think we hit it. I think we've reached as big as a stretch Armstrong can get because that failed down near the legs, crotch, swimsuit, feet area, as you can see by where it's torn. That was amazing. I am so happy with how much water we were able to fit into that stretch Armstrong. Oh, you can actually see. So the hole that you were covering that, up. That was the tear in the, the tear. neck. 
So this is what we were worried about from the beginning. Like I tried to attach the pipe clamp up here, but it just stretched so much that it pulled out. But that wasn't our point of failure. Yeah, it so still was fine. We hit maximum size. Yes! Guys, we've done a lot of stuff with Stretch Armstrong, but is there anything else you want to see us try? Let us know in the comments below. Guys, that's it for today, but we've always got new great stuff for you to see. Go ahead and click that button right there to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on a cool video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.